Uh, Hyundai, as you know, uh, internationally has been renowned for being involved in sport, sport sponsorship. And, and as such, when we were approached by the association to be involved in the class, we were extremely pleased to be associated. Uh, horse racing, as, as we all know, is a very popular sport. Uh, unfortunately, over the years, we have seen a decline in the numbers. Uh, so we at Courtesy of Hyundai are lending our support to the associations to try to rebuild the interest in horse racing, uh, which we show we will. Uh, as Raphael mentioned earlier, in terms of sponsorship, he said he would go for a long time. Uh, we hope so as well. Uh, at this point in time, I would just like to say that we have committed to a three-year sponsorship for this event. So Courtesy and Hyundai will be involved for the next three years. Mangle Bay is very excited about hosting these jockeys. For those of you who do not know Mango Bay, Mango Bay is an intimate, locally owned, all-inclusive hotel in the heart of Whole Town, where these jockeys will not only get the opportunity to experience Barbados, they will experience a locally owned product and experience our hospitality. It is an added value, all-inclusive property. We really are excited about having them on board. Not only that, we're excited to be working with the BTC, the BTA, and Courtesy and Hyundai. And what I am really excited about this morning for sure is we are also committed to doing a three-year sponsorship with the Barbados Stove Club on this. So I think, you know, it is a new venture that everybody is going down. It is excited for sport tourism. And I know for sure at the World Travel Market, which is happening next week in the UK, myself and Courtesy will also be promoting the event on November 16th. What we really want to try and do is to foster a whole better understanding of racing in Barbados for people. Racing used to be a massive um, event here. And we still have big days. But what we're trying to do now is to get more um, days where we can do things in a, in a slightly different way and where we can attract the best of the best to come and perform here in this country and, in, and bring obviously to Barbados and to Barbadians um, the joy of racing. One of the challenges in securing sponsorship is the, number of is the number of organizations that are competing for the limited funds that are available. We had to put something on the table that made us stand out above the rest. We had to come up with something special. The Barbados Winter Jockey Challenge is a very special event. It has the international flavor that has long been associated with horses venturing from overseas to challenge our local horses for the prestigious St. Elaine Gold Cup. In this event, the jockeys will be the main attraction. As the visiting riders with their distinctive European riding style seek to prove that they have what it takes to conquer any track in the world. This event goes beyond Bar the Barbados Turf Club and its racing product. This is an opportunity for us to showcase Barbados. And it is for this reason that the riders will be staying on long after they have passed the winning pole on November 16th. In the days following, they will put aside their riding gear and become tourists. And we will treat them with all the Bajan hospitality and courtesy to which all visitors to this island have become accustomed. We will give them a guided tour of our island, its people, and its culture that will be more than enough for them to talk about when they return home. The Breeders Classic will be renamed the Courtesy Breeders Classic powered by Hyundai, and um, I hope that this will be a permanent renaming, which would suggest that Courtesy will be on, on board forever and ever. But certainly we hope that we can have them on board for a long time to come. The race again this year is over nine furlongs for a barbarous bred three-year-olds, and uh, it's known as the Gold Cup distance for those of you who are not too familiar with the distances. And the total price, the total purse for this race is going to be just over 41,000 Barbados dollars. And this is a race that has had uh, some major winners over the years. We've had horses like Coobird, Apostle, uh, Federico. They've all won this race, uh, some of them more than once. 
Um, so it is no small race on the calendar. It's something that uh, all horse owners, breeders, and trainers look forward to. This year we have uh, an oversubscribed field. We have 14 horses. Um, unfortunately, only 12 can go, but it's 12 very solid horses. Um, we have a previous winner of the race in Are You Talk To Me, who's a Garrison favorite, and he returned from his last, uh, from a long day off, won his last start very impressively, impressively, which was also a previous race. And he will probably start the favorite, will take some beating. We have Zoom, who's also in very good form. He has also won the race um, last year. The leading, one of the leading three year olds this year, the Barbados Derby winner, Knight Rider, he's also scheduled to take entry. We have Nikita, who was a leading three year old this year. She won two legs of the Barbados uh, Triple Crown, and she ventured to Trinidad and is just on her way back. So it looks like a solid, very, very solid race. The grooms won't be left out. We have um, competitions with the best turned out horse in each race, um, which the grooms will receive, the winning groom will receive a cash prize for that. We also have um, the best turned out groom, so the best dressed groom on the day, well, for each race, as well as overall, will also receive uh, cash prizes. And then specific to the two feature races, the Breeders Classic and the Juvenile Stakes, the winning grooms of those races will also receive cash prizes. The fans won't be left out, uh, we're gonna have Steel Pan, Band Entertainment, which is something that is becoming the norm for BTBA races. Uh, we've taken this initiative and it seems to be very well received. Um, that will be entertainment for the fans. We also have three prizes to be won on the day for the fans who attend the garrison. Uh, two of those prizes will, will be based on losing tickets. And the third one, I unfortunately am not in a position to, to, to disclose the details right now, but rest assured it is something that's going to be quite exciting for the lucky fans.